Earlier this fall, the all-city cross-country meet for elementary students made a comeback in Spokane. That is fabulous. But before we start celebrating, we need to say thank you to Mike Bresson. Never heard of him? Me either. Until my friend Mike Blavich wrote about him in the Spokes interview this week. You see, Bresson came to Spokane in 1997 to attend Gonzaga Law School. The good news is for him, he became a lawyer. The better news for us, he stayed in town. Bresson wanted to give back to his new hometown, so he formed Active for Youth, a nonprofit group that helped lead to the reinstatement of the all-city event. How successful was it? Well, it's in his first year. More than 3,000 kids were part of the elementary school program, and more than 500 qualified for this year's all-city race. Having covered sports in this town for more than a quarter century, I firmly believe the success of Spokane High Schools that they have had in the sport of cross country can be traced back to the elementary all-school event. It took four years, but after a lot of legwork and a few grants, Bresson's Active for Youth finally had enough funding for the event. Mike Bresson is a pretty good runner. He's got a 222 marathon to his credit. But bringing back a program from the dead will leave a much greater legacy than any marathon time. I sure hope I'm not the first guy to tell him thank you, and I'd better not be the last. If you have a comment on this, you can drop me a line. Our email address, are you kidding me? 700ESPN.com. That's are you kidding me at 700ESPN.com.